In this tutorial, we will know how to create a parametric pattern facade in SketchUp. So guys, first you need to draw a surface like that. And then here, you need to draw a triangle. So first we need to press C and then type 3, enter. And then here we will draw a triangle like that, guys. Okay. And then here I am taking the offset using F, just like that. And here you have to just select this. And then make it in a group here you have to select cut opening option then create option okay now here we will apply a material of class okay guys now here we need to flip it for a mirror just click drag with on press one time control that's it okay now here we need to copy these all over here like that and this one over here like that just move it with control okay like now here I'm selecting all and then pressing game with control and placing here and typing slash 10 for 10 number of copy 10 is not sufficient so I'm typing slash 15 I think this is good now we have to select the entire model and then drag it with control at bottom like that okay and then again press slash 15 I think this is perfect. Okay, guys, then this part is done. Now, here we need to uh, draw a rectangle over here at the bottom. So, just draw a rectangle like that. Okay, then here you have to make it in a component. So, select it and click over make component. You have to type A here and definition capital A. Okay, then here you have to set the axis. So, I am selecting the axis and setting at the midst of this rectangle. Okay, then click on a create option. Now, here we need to uh, copy with control and tapping slash it just like that now here we use free plugin that is called a scale by tool plugin guys okay so we just have to select entire model and then click over here and then you have to here i will type 80 here and it will be 0.4 now think uh this is fine okay now what we'll have to do we have to just uh delete this part okay and then here just select the entire model and then you have to click on the explode option okay now guys your model exploded so now here what you have to do you have to click uh, at the one face and right click and click over select option and select all with same material okay then we need to delete it okay so first you need to rotate it just like that at the angle of 90 degree okay now here we need to make it in a group okay now guys here we will use another flip plugin that is called a proven plugin okay just click here over the string and drag and type 360 enter now here guys we will use another plugin so first i need to draw a rectangle surface like that so here you can see this is the connected line so we need to break it little bit over here okay just draw a line delete this part now select the entire model right click and here you have to choose polyline divider so here i will type five inches and then click ok right click click over done option now it's converted in polyline okay now here we will draw a straight line over here guys just like that and then we will use Zbender plugin so just use this plugin over here click here click over straight line and click over this polyline okay and press down arrow key one time now it's perfectly fitted over the curve line now we have to now guys here you can see that it's perfectly went over this line okay So guys, this is the method that you have to use to create a parametric pattern for Sardina SketchUp. If you really like my video, please subscribe, share and like. And please comment what kind of plugin you need to learn. I will make a tutorial on that. Thanks for watching. Have fun. See you next tutorial guys. Thank you.